means there's no contradiction entailed. If you don't see the contradiction, then you shouldn't be claiming it's impossible. Now, do you want to drag Jack in here? What, what are you on about? Well, there's just <laughs> stand, a standard understanding of possibility and necessity, right? Now, I mean, if, if you're going to employ this kind of strategy with your wife and your kids or your husband or whatever it is, yeah. you're not going to have a successful life. All you have demonstrated is that you have ignorance. Now, that is an interesting debate That's tactic. Right. Let me just be ignorant. So if you are ignorant, there is no need to be in this conversation. You are basically... To, uh, to this argument, I believe. Well, right, some guy's back. Um, he's going to have another yeah. shot. Um, right, right. So yeah, I, I noticed that you guys have a bit of a tendency... I mean, you're a bunch of blue belt debaters, right? So what you want is to prey on the lower belts, prey on the white belts, right? And then when a black belt like Jack comes in, you flee and mute him, whose critiques you can't Are handle, you and belt? bringing back what's your, and what's bringing your, what's Jack back in here and dealing with his critique. How long you How long you've been doing jujitsu for? How, how about what's not that? dodging the question? Will you deal with the critique or will you bring, flee? Bring him? It on, brother. I'm not in. Really okay, in absolutely. Of the, I'll send. I'll send him a message. Just one second. Well, we're bringing Jack on again. Bring so, him on. So if that's when, your black belt, if that's your black belt, you're in trouble. I, I have to say. No All right. Oh, absolutely. Gonna, He'll be here in a sec. Just a minute. Is he going to respond to the sniper question? Is he your friend or something? Are, are he, you his, he, um... gave, he gave a very clear answer here. One second. I'm going to bring him back. I'll answer you. Sorry, what was it? Sorry, what was his answer? Sorry, forgive me. What was his answer? What's the problem with infinite regress? No, no. When I said to him, will the sniper ever take the shot? And he said, why not? <laughs> <laughs> that was the answer. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was just sending him a message. He's coming back now, so you should see him you there. And yeah, his. Uh, no, oh, I'm going to answer you. I just wanted to get him back in here. Can you ask him the question? Because you seem to agree with Jack. So let's see if you agree with. Yeah. Me. You got a sniper who's got to take a shot. Yeah. Can't take that shot till he gets permission. Yeah. Mm hmm. But that guy can't get permission till he gets permission, mm -hmm. and he can't get permission until he gets permission, and it goes mm -hmm. back ad infinitum. Will mm -hmm. the sniper ever take the shot? Okay. Do you understand what the answer is to that question? Here, I'll answer you directly. So the answer is what contradiction would be entailed by saying that he takes the shot? Why can't it happen? Why, right? are, you so you... Afraid? Why are you so afraid of defending what answer you want to give? Just give your answer. Well, I don't have a view on whether he's going to take the shot or not, but what you're saying is that it's, please track this, right? You didn't follow this when Jack said this either. I don't need to take a view on whether he will take the shot or not. You are the one with the burden of proof because you're, wait, did you just, did you just say it's impossible? Right, so what's the contradiction? Is it possible for a sniper to take a shot if he needs permission? Yeah, I don't see why not, right? Possible just means there's no contradiction entailed. If you don't see the contradiction, then you shouldn't be claiming it's impossible. Now, do you want to drag Jack in here? What, what are you on about? Well, there's just <laughs> stand, a standard understanding of possibility and necessity, right? Now, I hear... One second. Is he in the chat I'm here? Is he ready to go? <laughs> Pardon me? Can he take the shot? If He, if he can't, can't take the shot. I, I'm not sure if you didn't understand me, right? I'll repeat myself once again. When you say can... When you say can he take... Sorry? Do you want the answer? I'll answer you again. I'm just going to be repeating what I said. When you ask, can he take... Sorry. When you ask, can he take... Do you want an answer or not, Hamza? You're just going to hide? I understand the question. Yeah, I understand the question is, can he take the shot? Is that the question? Taking the shot. Just please just listen, okay? Now, the question is, can he take a shot if there's an infinite regress of permission needed to take the shot? It's perfectly clear what you're asking. And I'm saying... I don't see why not. You're claiming it's impossible, which means there's a contradiction. What contradiction is entailed by saying he takes the shot? That's yeah, the contradiction. Some guy, some guy, some guy sorry. Uh, I already said this before you came on, what the contradiction is, yeah? Sure. What's the contradiction? If, if, yeah. Um, what we said was that, how do you define infinity, first of all? Infinity, an arbitrarily large number, I think, is what a mathematician no, no, would no, say. No, no, no. Come on, man. That's wrong. See, that, I mean, you're that's, one of the white I literally was just in a calculus the course. That's, that's what my calculus was, prop says. No, no, no. It's, it's that's not like... entering the dojo. That is actually, forget the white belt. Right, so so my, my calculus prof is wrong about what infinity is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we don't so, okay, you get the for me? so this is like a triggered response to every question that's being asked. So we're not trying to argue with you, some guy, just for the sake of argumentation. That's not the point. 
We're trying what? to make practical things. So, so no, no, it's, this is the problem. I think with some guys, some guys, some guy doesn't know what infinity is, and that's why he doesn't see the contradiction. I said infinity is an arbitrarily large number. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's okay, not the, the right. I'll, I'll I'll make sure to tell my math professor. Who has yeah, a if that's what he's told you, then you need to right. do that, please, and tell you which okay. university it is because right. we shouldn't go there. <laughs> The, the 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 question is a very simple one, and you've said that infinity is an arbitrarily large number, which is, I mean, that's, I'm, and my mind boggles that you would even say that, and you know, and then you're trying, then you're then you're, you're, you're throwing your professor personally, you're throwing him under the bus to try and justify <laughs> your position on, on the statement because your professor would not agree with that position at all. Now, infinity. The infinity is exactly as, as, as Brother uh, Hij Mother uh, Muhammad Hizab said that it's a number that is uncountable. It it just goes on. You can't. You will never ever be able to count to an infinity. So what that means is actually, if you try to traverse that in any sense of the word, the same concept will apply. Whether you're verbally trying to con uh, cross this, or whether you're trying to cause it cross it causal causally, or whether you're trying to cross it contingently, you're not going to be able to cross this. Expanse, which is that's right. the infinite to infinite. That's, that's, yeah. I think this is where we're talking cross purposes because, like, yeah. once again, yeah, it's, it's, definitional issue. it's a it's a number that's a, a greater than all natural numbers, right? Absolutely. And all natural numbers are all countable numbers, really. Yeah. So, if you're thinking about the natural numbers all the way, you can't. It's uncountable. That's that is a property, but that's how it is. So the problem with you saying, okay, well, you're answering the question of Hamza with another question. That's not answering the question. Either something is possible or not possible. He's he actually asked you a very fair question. He said to you, let's assume there's an infinite regress of permissions needed. Yeah. Now the person taking the shot, he has to ask someone else for their permission, and they have to ask for someone else for their permission. Is it conceivable if there's an infinite regress backwards that that person will take the shot? You're saying yes, it's conceivable. Now you're, or, or you might say no, but if you're saying it's possible, it's either possible or not. I'm not telling you, will it happen? Or I'm not telling you, is it necessary? I'm asking you, is it, he's asking you, sorry, is it possible? So either it's possible or not. Either it's possible or it's impossible or it's necessary. These are your only three options. So now the question is, to, to, to press this point, now you know what infinity is, something which you can't count, yeah? It's, it's larger than any great, um, greater than any natural number. It's limitless, it's boundless, yeah? Uh, now that you know that, the question remains, if somebody needs to take a shot and then they need to ask their permission before they take the sh someone else's permission and then that person needs to ask someone else's permission and it goes back infinitely backward, yeah? Infinitely. The question is, will they ever take the shot? And if so, oh no, can they ever take it? Is it conceivable? Is it possible? Yeah? And if not, is it impossible? And if not, is it necessary? you got three options. Which one of the three is there? Well, I thought you were making the claim that it was. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were making the claim that it was impossible. So I was just asking for the argument for that claim. You thought we said it was impossible? Yeah, that's what I thought you guys said. No, I asked yeah, you that's what you said. Yeah. I don't believe it's possible. Yeah, so what's the argument? Well, because the if argument is that. He, he just he just outlined his argument. He just said that. Look, never get permission. How is it possible or is it impossible? Is it is it or is it um, I'm asking necessary? for the argument. Yeah, that's, what I'm that's just you. a claim that it's not possible. I'm asking no, no, no. that what the argument is. Okay, Jack. Listen, it's a request for permission going back ad infinitum. Yes. Yeah. Without that permission, you can't take the shot, right? If you've got a okay. going backwards, requesting for permission continuously, will you ever get permission? And if so, Why who's going to give that permission? Yeah, so again, I thought you guys were making the claim that it's not possible, right? Oh, yeah. So presumably you have an argument for the claim. Otherwise, yeah, what yeah, we, we, he did make an argument for the claim. He said, "Look, if you define no, infinity, he just asked me a question. But like, what's maybe we could put the argument in premise and conclusion form? Why do you need to do that? 
so that I can understand what it no, is. No, you don't need you it. Yeah, it, well, the argument. You're, if you're right. meant to be the well, with all due respect, Jack, you know that you know that a, a deductive argument doesn't require a three part uh, pre, um, a three part um, syllogism. It doesn't require that. Uh, uh, you know, you, you guys can have a have premise. A deductive argument. Pardon? You guys have a deductive argument that establishes it's impossible. He's making a claim. He's making one claim. I'm asking for the argument for the claim. Yeah, there's an argument. Give me the evidence that an argument has to be three stage. I'm just asking if you guys have. No, no, no. You're asking for something which is not a requirement. You're asking, and this is this is the problem. Like, you seem to you're asking for things that are not a requirement. Give me the get a, a, a basic logic handbook. There's actually a book that you go when you go to philosophy in the, this country, for example. It's, it's called the, the, the Logic Handbook, yeah? It's by, by Volker, um, what's his name? Valbuck, or, uh, this is the guy, yeah? And you'll see, you just open it up and see what is an argument. There's actually a whole chapter on argument there. And then you'll see, oh, does it have to have three parts? No, you can have an argument with just one premise. You don't require, I'm making just one premise. You see, your requirement here is not something which is anyone's, uh, uh, it's not a requirement for an argument to be made. We're saying that infinity is something which is not susceptible to subtraction or addition. That's it, full stop. Now, if that's the case, an infinite regress is impossible. Well, I was just trying to understand whether you guys had an argument for the claim or not. It, see, it seems like you just, that's, now it's just like a broken record. Jack, are you saying that it's a, it's a simple question. It's just a yes No, you have a question, question, but you've been given an answer, but you seem to just, I mean, is this how you, is this your method of um, debating? Because it's not very effective. I have to be honest with well, you. Well, you, made, you guys made a claim, and I was wondering if you had an argument for the yeah, claim. Yeah, we made a claim, and I still and we'll don't know whether you guys... Claim. And, and you seem not to be able to understand it, right? Your, your friend, who is your cheerleader, he came on. He didn't know what the definition of infinity was. We had to educate him on what the properties and the definition of infinity was. Anything greater than a natural number, something which is boundless, something which is limitless, something which is not susceptible to subtraction or addition. And if we're saying that there's an infinite regress, yeah, if, if it's, whether it's a pre-infinity or a post-infinity, whatever you want to call it, whatever type of infinity it is, You'll say he's asking a question, giving an analogy of sh someone taking a shot. If someone needs permission from someone else, from is it possible? Is it impossible or is it necessary that that person will uh, shoot with an infinite regress of uh, people that he or that he has to ask permission for? That's the question. I'm not sure what how that's an answer to my question. What's your question? We've given you our argument. You don't understand it. That's fine. My, you can... my question is, do you guys have an argument or not? <laughs> yeah, we seem to have provided no, it for you, but you just don't you understand know what? This is, this is Can I just ask a question, please, Hamza, before, anyway. you get... before I uh, eject him? <laughs> Jack, do you, do, you, do you believe that you can count to infinity? If you started off with a number one and you started counting, do you think you'd be able to count to infinity? What does that mean, count to infinity? Uh, right. that's that's basically yeah. it that's that's, so this is that's it. what so it's going to be what does it mean do you have an argument does it is it, i mean if, if you're going to employ this kind of strategy with your wife and your kids or your husband or whatever it is yeah. you're not going to have a successful life with all due respect did you take the trash well, out john or jack you whatever guys, your name is do you have an argument do you have an I, I argument thought, i'm still waiting to hear your argument yeah i mean it's, it's a recycle thought, by the way do you know where he's getting this from hamza let me tell you he got this from Christopher Hitchens. It's a famous line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear your argument. You're meant to be the black belt of the atheists and you're snatching uh, famous lines from, uh, you know, sophists like Christopher Hitchens. You don't have much to say, do you? Right. With all due respect, you don't have much to say, do you? I'll ask you one question which you couldn't answer. Yeah. I'm asking you a question. In his analogy, that Hamza's analogy that he just gave right now, okay, that if the person, the sniper in this example, needed uh, permission, would he get the permission if there's an infinite regress of people that he has to take permission from? Would that would he be able to shoot the target 
And if so, is this necessarily the case? Is it possibly the case? Or is, it th or, or is that impossible? You have three options. There is no fourth option. That's an exhaustive list of all the options that you can have. There's no, and if not, then you can correct me and say, well, hey, there's a fourth option. I already answered it. I don't see any what reason to think that it's impossible. I said I, I don't see any reason to think that it's impossible. So, it's, so does that so mean somebody, it's possible? Well, just a minute, just a minute. So if somebody thinks that it's impossible, presumably they have an argument to justify <laughs> that claim, right? Uh, mm -hmm. no. And no, I was are you, so, so it's not impossible. It's to, not impossible in sorry, your opinion. I, yeah? I wasn't. I wasn't. Sorry, I wasn't done. I was just trying to get you guys to explain whether you had an argument or not. I don't know. I right. feel if like it's I'd not impossible. Uh, would you respect Jack? Sorry, is it I, necessary? I wasn't, I wasn't, is it necessary? Sorry, I wasn't. Sorry. 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 I wasn't done. I, yeah, go ahead. I feel like I asked that question about. Sorry. I feel like I asked that question about twenty times. So I you're still asking, don't know the uh, answer. Do you? Well, I don't sorry, know what question wait, you're asking. You're asking, have you got an sorry, argument? Sorry, have you got an, I'm sorry, still waiting to hear your argument. Sorry, I wasn't, well, with I wasn't respect, actually done. That question is I not really a meaningful done, question. I wasn't, I wasn't actually done talking. Presumably, uh, Jack, if you're Jack, making the claim. Are, sorry, I, sorry, I was. I think you are done, honestly. I, I can't listen to any more. Sorry. No, just let him, let him, let, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish. Let's, oh, uh, Jack, on. if it's not impossible, you said it's not, you're, you're, you're claiming that it's not impossible. That's your claim. You've made a claim now. The claim is you said it's not impossible. So you have two options. Either it's possible or that. necessary. So which of the two is it? I didn't say that. What you I said, said it's, was, it's not impossible. I didn't see any. You Sorry. said you don't see any reason for it to be impossible, Sorry. right? Yeah, so now you guys. So then it must be possible or necessary. Sorry, I don't understand why. I don't understand why you keep over talking me. So, if you guys say that there is a reason to think that it's impossible, I'm just asking for the inference by which you draw that conclusion. Right? How did okay. I respond? You don't see a reason. Sorry, Wait, hold on, sorry, uh, sorry, Jack, sorry, Jack, Jack. Sorry, you don't... sorry, you keep. Okay, over let me speak. Uh, you've you've said what you've said. Let no, me let me come back. I wasn't finished. No. Go on, go on, Hello? Yeah, go on. Was, I wasn't actually finished talking. So what I said was, presumably, that belief that it's impossible is justified by an inference, right? And I'm just asking what the you inference is. You don't need to presume is. anything or assume anything. Sorry, 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 sorry. I wasn't actually done. Presumably, that belief is justified by some Why inference. Why is that presumable? I'm just asking what... Sorry, sorry, I wasn't actually done. Presumably, that belief is justified by an inference. So I was just, just asking what yeah, that inference okay. is that justifies. All right, so is, is it my time to speak now? Yeah. All right. So when you say you don't see any reason for it to be impossible, is that what you said? Yeah. I was asking about the inference. Now, I understand. But before that, you said. You don't see any reason for it to be impossible. That's what you said with your words, right? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get clear now. But you're you're, not, you're clearly not. You, you can't communicate. You don't know how to communicate. By an I'm asking you a sorry. question. I don't understand why. Hello, you're hello. I don't understand why you're over. Jack, he wasn't done. Sorry, sorry Jack, he wasn't here's done. Here's the thing, Jack. You're over talking him. Yeah. Am, I, yeah. am I quoting you correctly when you said that uh, that that you don't see any reason for it to be impossible? Is that what you said? Yeah. Now okay. I'm asking what what I'm no, no, asking okay, okay, is, before you, you ask. You said and you agreed just a second ago. You just said that I don't see any reason for it to be impossible. That's what you said about the infinite regress example that Hamza gave. Yes, you agreed. Now, would you use exactly the same phraseology and exactly the same articulation when it comes to the words instead of impossible, possible and necessary? Would you use that as well? So in other words, if would you, you mean could by you say, reason? Yeah, yeah. Could you say that I don't see any reason for it to be necessary and I don't see any reason for it to be possible? Would you say the same thing with all three categories, impossibility, possibility, and necessity? Yeah, if by reason is meant argument, I don't claim so you said to yes, have yeah? an argument. So you said yes, claim, yeah. I don't claim to have I don't claim to have an argument for any of the positions. Uh -uh. Or you guys so do. In right? the same way, so hold on, hold on. So you see this. Okay, perfect. So this is your position. Your position is you don't see any reason for it to be impossible, i.e. the infinite regress, but you don't see any reason for it to be possible either. And you don't see any reason for it to an be necessary. 
No, are you listen to I what I'm saying. I don't have an argument. So you want, you, okay, so this is this is what you've just said. And tell me if this is coherent in your understanding or it's incoherent. You say, so this is your position, Jack. Your position is you don't see any reason why an infinite regress is impossible, but you also don't see any reason why an infinite regress is possible, but you also see why uh, you don't see any reason why an infinite regress is necessary. So all three articulations for all three exhaustive possibilities. That's what you're saying. What I'm saying is this, right? If I don't have an argument that it's impossible, I don't see a reason to think that it's impossible. Yeah, so basically you're, you're right. ignorant. With all due respect, all you are in, in this conversation, all you have demonstrated is that you have ignorance. Now, that is an interesting debate That's tactic. Not- Let me just be ignorant. So if you are ignorant, there is no need to be in this conversation. You're basically ignorant. You don't see any reason for it to be impossible, but you don't see any reason for it to be possible, but you also don't see any reason for it to be necessary. So you're ignorant. You're fully ignorant. So as an ignorant person, so as an ignorant person, as an ignorant person, ignorant to the arguments or ignorant to the possibilities or impossibilities or necessities, right? Ignorant to all three uh, categories here of, 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 of existence. It's either impossible or possible or necessary. You're ignorant to all three of them. There really is no point of this conversation. It's it's basically thought, you're saying I I'm ignorant. I thought it was your, thought thought it was your claim that I, I it was. Don't sorry, I wasn't. You don't have an argument, but you're ignorant to all arguments. Right. You have no reason for anything. Yeah, that was just a waste of you time. You have no man. reason right. to believe or disbelieve in anything. Is that correct? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, good, uh, because. You see, this is an interesting debate tactic, right? This debate tactic, a lot of these uh, ultra skeptics, we've talked about this already before, right? They'll come in and they'll think, and the guy boosted him up as a black belt, okay? But the black belt here was basically slipping on his, you know, uh, chasing his own tail, quite frankly. Chasing his own tail. That's what he's doing. And there's no substance in what the guy is saying. Everyone can see. Everyone can see. If you're saying I have no reason and all the things that he's doing is, a, is, a, is a, you know, these agnostics think they can get away with it. So I'm going to just use negatives. I have no reason to believe X. I have no reason to believe Y. I have no reason to. Be- you have no reason. It doesn't mean there is no reason. You're, you're, it's an argument really from ignorance. It's a fully thought, ignorant I thought, argument. I thought, Dr. Imran, you asked a fair question. And then what it's do you perfectly, mean? It's a perfectly reasonable question because an infinity is that an uncountable number. Um, the thing is, his his, boy, uh, his um his 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 his, his, his cheerleader, he was bla- <laughs> he was bigging him up as the black belt and this and that mm-hmm. and you know he's the guy and you know you guys are just taking out the white belts and so on. We're, look, we're not here trying to take out anyone. We're trying to speak. We're trying to have, have conversations, and most of our conversations. You highlighted his debate tactic. We're good. Because I thought I thought I give a real dumbed down example of the sniper. I just don't think what the problem. And you know that that, that, that dumbed down, they, they they couldn't handle it. They couldn't mm-hmm. handle it. And it's just a simple. And I like that about Hamza. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice example. I think most of the, the the viewers see here that really all the atheists can do is play word games. That's what they've been doing, man. Yeah. So at the end of the day. I think that we have a good stream here, alhamdulillah. You know, we've been able to demonstrate.